It's great to be here. Uh, I guess I could take this off. Hope everybody's doing well, keeping safe. Um, and I've noticed we all have different templates for our talks today. So uh, as was noted, I'm going to focus a bit on data privacy, threats, and opportunities today. Um, this particular word cloud was built from uh, a blog from the UK government, um, itgovernance.uk, um, about data breaches in 2021. And I realized I forgot my notes. And frankly, I was prepping late last night, so I'm getting notes. Um, so you can see that data breaches are ongoing. I don't think that's news to any of us in this room. Any of us who are paying attention to security, we know this is, this is an ongoing reality of the world we're in. It's a data-driven world. It's becoming more and more data-driven. And we all have data at risk. Um, this data, this information comes from the same blog. Um, it, interesting to see that healthcare is uh, one of the major sources of breaches, public sector. Nice that financial services is a bit smaller, I would have expected. I guess they've, they've been doing a good job of keeping up with protections. Um, but you can also see that on the uh, right-hand side of the slide, right, the areas that have the, the organizations that have had the biggest number of breaches, um, including LinkedIn, which I imagine many of us here today are on. So encrypting data continues to be key. Attestation of uh, servers and environments, also important, more important than ever, especially when data is at the edge, which it is more and more so, right? All the data on our cell phones, mobile phones. And there's progress happening that our community is helping to drive. Open SSL 3 is out. FIPS 140-3 is in progress. SIGSTOR, one of the most you know, quickly growing adopted projects that I've seen in the open source community to help with supply chain security and signing of assets as they move through the supply chain. Tecton Chains, working with Tecton for, again, cloud native pipelines and attestation of that tool chain. Keylime, remote attestation of servers. Um, and the CNCF Sandbox project on confidential containers, bringing trusted execution environments to containers based on Kata containers. So great stuff happening in the community. Also, AI and ML can help when it comes to addressing these kinds of threats, threats against data. AI and, and ML can do a better job than humans at identifying patterns, malware patterns, uh, other kinds of challenges that show up out there. They can predict potential attacks um, by identifying trends. And at the same time, doing all of this requires access to data. Um, a project that might be interesting, kind of the learn more links are scattered throughout this deck as I, when I upload things, they'll be available to you. Open CEP, complex event processing, is a project that is available for contribution, evaluation, you know, anybody who's interested helps to uh, do things that can be leveraged to look for financial fraud, um, privacy threats, things along those lines. That said, attackers are also learning to trick some of these algorithms. So this is an area both to contribute to and to pay attention to. One of the things we might do in this space actually is start thinking about homomorphic encryption. This is a type of encryption that enables computations on data without decrypting the data. And the computation results remain encrypted as well. So this can enable privacy of the data while this AI and ML type of analysis is happening on the data can allow you to do things like maintain privacy with healthcare data. Again, remember healthcare was one of the main areas of attack uh, in 2021. And this can allow for a more granular protection of that healthcare data as well. So an area, again, that's worth investing, investigating, investing in. Lots for us as a community to see what we can be doing. How can we leverage these technologies? And at the same time, 
uh, quantum computing is coming for our crypto, right? So it's been demonstrated that quantum computing can break some of our existing crypto algorithms within 10 seconds. So there's a strong investment also happening for post-quantum cryptography. And uh, NIST, Etsy, ISO are all investing in standards in this space. That said, this work has been going on for some time. Um, ideally, we will see new standards in 2023 to 2026. That's not that near term. And we know, you know the, the threats are out there. Also, we know it's going to take some time for our, our companies, our industry, our ecosystem to adopt the new standards. So given the short time we have today, this is really just a teaser about all this kind of information. But please, especially if any of you are really interested in crypto, get involved, contribute, look into AI and ML and how that can help us with security, and also get involved in post-crypto, uh, post-quantum cryptography and homomorphic encryption as options for improving data protection today. Thanks so much for your time.